G'day everybody, this is Peter. Just thought I'd do a quick little video on how to service a drag on your reel. Sarah goes to 10,000, sort of the workhorse of Melbourne and most states now, a lot of people use these reels. I'm going to service the drag on this. I'm going to lubricate those drag washers because they're Carbon X. I'm going to use a product called Cal's Reel Grease. It's an excellent product. You can buy it in most shops and online. Great little product. A little tub like this, it's not much in it at all. That's lasted me years. You don't use much at all, guys. So stay with me and I'll pull a drag apart and I'll show you how we do it. Okay, guys, so I'll show you what we do. So I've got me, obviously got the spool here, just a little flat blade screwdriver, a rag, because it's going to be a little bit dirty, and the grease. In the top of the spool, you've got a little E-clip, just a little retainer clip in here, that if you just wiggle in there with your screwdriver, carefully lifting it out, it is under pressure, the last thing you want to do is have that little clip take off across the room and you'll be spending the next hour looking for it. Put that somewhere where you're not going to lose it. Now take note when you pull it out, they all come out pretty straightforward. I normally give them a good tap on my hand. And okay, I've got a little pack of washers there and a drag. In the bottom is one more, which I'll just get out gently with a screwdriver. So obviously take note of how they go in the back in the spool. So in this case, there's a, a drag washer, a metal washer, a drag washer, metal washer, drag washer, metal washer. Now, these they're a little bit damp, so that tells you I've had a little bit of water get in there. And this is why you want to do this job, just to get any moisture out of there. So just carefully wiping that out with a rag, just to get out any old grease and make sure it's clean and dry in there. Okay, that's nice and clean in there now. Now what I do, there'll be other guys that tell you there's different ways, but obviously I just lay them all out, separating them in order. Sticky things they are. All right, just lay them out on my cloth and just use the cloth back over them just to help pat them dry. Give them a bit of a wipe off. Make sure there's no damage to those washers. If the metal washers have got any roughness in that on them, you can use a bit of light sandpaper like a 600 or an 800 grit and give them a clean up. But these feel pretty good. I'm just giving them a clean up there just to dry off any old grease and any moisture that's on them. It's a very simple job, guys. Once you're doing a few reels, you can do, knock this over in like you know, two minutes of reel, three minutes of reel. And now it is literally just a little touch of grease on both sides. The best way I've read it once was that you want to be able to just leave a fingerprint on them. So it's not much grease at all that goes on those carbon X. So I'm just putting a little bit on both sides and I'm actually wiping off most of what I've put on. I said just enough grease on the air that if you touch it, you'd leave your fingerprint on it. That's pretty much it guys. And then it is literally putting them back together. Just the same way they came out, back in there. The top one only goes in one way, you'll find out that goes in. Now remembering not to lose that clip and putting that back in, just your fingers will do this one. Make sure that's locked into the groove. There you go. That is a Saragosa 10,000 drag that's just been cleaned and re-greased. That will be silky smooth, lots of pressure won't matter, that will not cost me a fish. Easy as that, guys. So, hope that's helped everybody. Yeah, if you're bored in lockdown or it's bad weather, get hold of some grease, pull your drags apart, service them up for the season. You do not want to lose that trophy fish because your drag was bad. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.